Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be learning about painter Claude Monet and we're going to be creating a pond with lilies um, similar to what he did. He is very famous for his paintings. I'm going to open this to this page so you can see for his very large paintings of his lily pond that he had at his house and you can see here's another one. Um, he painted giant sections and they all fit together but you can see all the lilies in the pond and they're sort of like the um, oh what is that seaweed in there probably growing or algae in his pond some of the blue water so you can see different textures the textures of the lily pads the different texture of this the uh, algae and the smooth texture of the water so we're going to be creating our own um, inspired by him and you can see this is actually a picture of his lily pond what it really looked like here's he had a really bridge that he could sit on and paint from there um, and you can see he set up his easel over here he set it up on the side of the pond but he could also sit on his bridge and paint and sometimes he did and so here is one of the very large paintings that he did of his lily pads and um, we're going to be creating our own lily pads where is the lightest part if you look at this you can see the highlights are on the lilies themselves right everything else looks kind of dark but it's also showing a reflection of the sky you can see the colors from the sky you can see the seaweed there's even a darker reflection where um, the water's deeper probably over here and there's some shadows so we're going to create our own using paint Mrs. Walker is going to let you use your finger as your paintbrush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little bit of paint on your paper I'm going to give you a variety of blues because we're doing water here right maybe a little dab of green mixed in there too just to give it that feeling that it's ooh, this my green just the lid just popped up ooh, and it needed to be shook up whoopsie daisy so let me just give it a little shake because it's kind of watery okay that's better I'll put a little bit over here there that's better all right I'll just stir that in so it won't matter and let's see, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of white so that my colors don't get too dark because you can see some of those blues are really, really dark. All right, you're going to take your finger and you're going to create a pond texture. So the water, you're going to make it look like water. So you can just take your finger and draw around in here however you want it to be. But did you notice I'm only using one finger, just one? The rest of my fingers won't have any paint on them, will they, if I'm following directions? And you can do any kind of swirls and twirls. You can do straight lines. I don't like the straight lines as much. That doesn't really look like water to me. I even I really like twirls and swirls. And you can make it go out to the edges of your paper if you like. Swirl it out there. I'm going to drag some of mine out here so it looks like water all the way around. Just have fun kind of drawing with your finger. Okay. And when you get it to a place where you think it looks like it has enough texture, like it looks like a pond, we're going to take a print of this. And a print just means that you're going to take another piece of paper and you're going to lay it right over top of this one. It's sort of sort of like making stamping. It's kind of like stamping. Okay, let me let me wipe my finger on a paper towel and I'll get and we'll show you what to do. Okay, so when this is ready, this was actually our really shiny paper that we used for our for our actual painting. Then Mrs. Walker is going to give you a, another piece of paper, and we're going to make sure we put our name and class code on this before we start, because otherwise it's pretty hard to do after we begin. Remember, your class code goes in a circle, so you put your class code in and circle it. Okay. Then you're going to take that and you're going to do it with your name side up. You're going to lay it right over top of your textured drawing and we're going to give it a little massage and what it will do is it's going to make this beautiful print of our painting here we go ready oh that's pretty wow that really looks like water doesn't it yeah now next week we'll actually make some 3d lilies to put in here with some flowers Okay, but that goes on the drying rack, and then um, you can either uh, 
do well mrs. walker will let you know what you get to do when you're finished okay